the peaceful bogs in Estonia have always been the destination of many weekend getaways. It's even more enjoyable when you bring an amateur radio station with you. 7-3, have a nice Sunday. My name is Henry and welcome to Every Day is Field Day. So we will start from here and uh, drive to here to the flora fauna area. This is a Kurvema National Reserve of Estonia and it's still located in the Eco Sierra 2 area. Me and my friend took the time and made the hour-long drive into a two-hour cruise. First task was to find a camping spot suitable for the snowy conditions, as far away from these power lines as possible. A hiking trail and boardwalk crosses the bog. Many camping spots are located on the west side of the bog. Most of them were crowded or unsuitable for our equipment. We found a secluded lot on a snowed in forest road away from the main traffic. Before deploying the tent, some snow shoveling had to be done. One eternity later. So this is the new tent. It can accommodate 10 people or just two guys with too much camping furniture. There's still a place for my smaller tents, but this is pure luxury. So the camp is finally set up. In the front you can see the fishing pole uh, mounted uh, quarter wave antenna with uh, six radials. So come inside, I'll give you the house tour. The station. And uh, believe me or not, it's, it's the smallest battery I found. Uh, it's for charging the laptop. And the quarter wave is uh, a bit too long for w where I want it. But uh, on the other hand, it's more suitable for FT8. And it's gray line propagation time. Let's begin. The goal is to make at least 44 contacts to activate this worldwide flora fauna area. Twenty meters was still open if you had an amplifier. This frequency news is this frequency news. Forty meter band was too busy at least for 5 watts search and pounce. So I let the computer do the work for me. Since it's still uh, quite cold outside and uh, we don't like cold and uh, there's no heating in this tent yet, we have planned to install install small wood oven here uh, but uh, there's n there's no uh, hole for the chimney so we're going to fix that here's Johnny And now we have a heat source. That wonderful feeling when you can pull on warm boots in the morning. Let's start. 
start the morning right. This morning the fun, fun conditions are a bit different. Echo Sierra 2 uniform November X-ray. QSL, you are 59 also. Very good signal all the way to Estonia. I'm operating uh, from flora fauna area using uh, 5 watts at the moment. Uh, the name is uh, Henry QSL. Echo Sierra 2 uniform November X ray portable. Echo Sierra 2 uniform November X ray portable. Echo Sierra 2 uniform November X-ray portable. Echo Sierra 2. Echo Sierra 2 uniform November X-ray portable. Uh, only the letter Echo Sierra 2. Echo Sierra 2. Only the letter, please. Uniform November X-ray United Nancy X-ray portable. And very difficult Echo Sierra 2. Uniform November X-ray United Nancy X-ray. Portable. Roger, Roger. Thank you, Henry. Ciao. Thank you, 4 and 2, 4 and 4 QSL? QSL, that is correct. Uh, I'm operating from a flora fauna It area. has proven very useful that I can choose between vertical polarization and between horizontal polarization. Just had a couple QSOs with local guys on 80 meters and now back to FD8 with uh, vertical polarization. And this is what the uh, late night modification looks from the outside. There's still much to learn with the radio, but I'm very happy with this new tent. In total, I had 57 contacts, so the flora fauna activation was a success. It looks like it was all NVIS or one bounce from the ionosphere. See you next time.